Last year, YouTube announced an ambitious plan to back original programming on its video portal. The expensive venture consists of more than 100 professionally produced channels, including a Hollywood-centric entertainment channel from the Young Hollywood Network. The channel launched in January, and RJ Williams, the network's CEO and founder, is joining us now to talk about it. Thanks for talking with us, RJ. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. You're very welcome. Well, first of all, just tell us about the Young Hollywood Network and what type of content it produces. So we're really excited. We launched our network on January 16th, and every day of the week is a different show. Uh, six days a week, 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern time. So we want to really create, you know, appointment viewing television, if you will. So if you like trends, you know, you'll watch our Celebrity Trend Report, which is every Friday, and you'll talk to celebrities and, and find out what they're loving right now, certain trends that you might not necessarily know about. or. You know, if you're really into the movers and shakers of the business, then on Wednesday you would check out Power Players, which is, you know, everybody from producers, directors, to studio executives, to just the people that, that really call the shots in Hollywood. Nice. So what type of, of feedback have, have you received thus far? You know, the feedback's been great. We're really starting to build a loyal audience. Our, our subscribers have gone up tremendously, which is, you know, a big thing for, for YouTube that you're getting it. Um, and the biggest thing we've noticed is the engagement time, because before the drop-off was you know, a minute, minute 30 into the video and people are staying longer now because if it's a show they like and it's a playlist of, of content that they want to see, they're actually going to stay and watch the entire show. So I think the biggest metric we've been impressed with is the engagement time, that, that people are now staying on YouTube longer and, and they're actually watching more of the episodes. Right, and I understand that, that you're based in the Four Seasons um, in order to have better access to celebrities? That's correct. I'm here right now at our, at our studio at the Four Seasons. We just had the band Carolina Liar was here, and they just did an acoustic performance for us, performing some of their songs, and they have a new album out next week, so we were talking to them a little bit about that. But we have talent every single day coming through, seven days a week, you know, five, six people a day, and we're really a 24-hour operation. People show up at 10, 11 o'clock at night sometimes, early mm -hmm. in the morning. You know, we're always here, and we say, hey, when you want to get on YouTube in, in a real quick fashion, pop by our studio at Four Seasons, and we'll get you up. That's great. Well, how did YHN become one of the channels selected by Google's YouTube? So we'd worked with YouTube for a while, and, and we've been a partner of theirs for about three years now since I launched. Uh, but it was really just recycled content. It was never exclusive content that was only on YouTube. It'd be content that would live on younghollywood.com, live with some of our other promotional partners, and then we'd repurpose it on YouTube. Uh, and it was doing well. I mean, we commanded almost 75 million views just on that content without anything being new. Um, and then we started hearing about this initiative. We started talking to them, and they invited us to, you know, to discuss our, our concept for what a network would look like. So we went in, met with the executives, told them how we envisioned the Young Hollywood Network to look like. Um, they liked it. You know, since October, we've been working hard away on it. As you know, we launched a couple weeks ago, so we're really excited about it. So what do you think that this overall venture will, will bring to YouTube with all these channels? You know, YouTube's changed now because it's exclusive content you can't find anywhere else. So what we're doing for Young Hollywood Network, if you want to see it, you can only find it on YouTube or via the YouTube player if you, you, know, you embed it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big change because before, it'd be content you consume on television or concept you consume on other platforms. And you know, you'd go to YouTube to maybe watch it again or watch it a few times. Now, it's destination viewing. If you want to see a specific show or a specific celebrity, you're going to go to YouTube just to be able to go watch that. Um, so I think that's a big change. Second change, going back to the engagement time. You know, before people would be on YouTube for like two minutes, they'd watch a video and they'd be done. Mm -hmm. Now I think they're going to stay. I think, you know, staying 15, 30 minutes, maybe an hour on YouTube isn't going to be uncommon. That once you watch a video, it's going to show, oh, you like this video, maybe you'll like another segment from this series. So if you like our Studio Secrets show, oh, here are five other episodes of Studio Secrets that you might want to watch. Mm -hmm. So then I think the, the viewer is now going to stay and, and spend a lot more time, uh, which is what the advertisers want, because now you have a really sticky site. And you know it's it's engagement, which is the hardest thing to get. You have a, a viewer that's actually staying there, and, and they're going to absorb more ads, and it's you know it's a win win for everybody. Right now, there there are some challenges uh, with the channels backed by YouTube because there there are a lot of other channels that that are essentially veterans on the service that that already drive a lot of viewers. So, how will these new new premium channels such as yours spread and, and promote their content? You know, cross promotion is something we're working on. Um, you know, with several of the different partners, when mm -hmm. it makes sense. So, you know, as basic as subscribing to one another and featuring one another to more comprehensive, where we share content. I just five minutes ago got an email from one of the partners that they have a couple celebrities that are going to be with them. Could they do a shout out? Is there a customized shout out we want that they're going to shoot for us 
send to us, we'll put on our channel, and in turn we'll promote the launch of, of the channel that they're doing. Um, and there's a lot of interaction like that with the partners, which is great. And that's what's so different from television, because if you're on a network, you know, each his own. You're worried about getting canceled. You only really care mm -hmm. about yourself. You don't care about the other shows necessarily. Whereas YouTube is completely different. That you know, for this to work, everybody in the ecosystem needs to feed off of one another, and they need to promote each other. And and you know, that's going to be who's going to survive and who's not. And I think the ones that that are constantly promoting and coming up with innovative ways to to market the others are, are the ones that are going to last. Mm -hmm. And and that's where we fit in this community. Is you know, we're the glue that really holds it together. Is mm -hmm. You know, if you look at E! right now, if Kim Kardashian is promoting a show, odds are she'll go to Ryan Seacrest and E! News Daily and, and that's where she'll, you know, promote it. We're going to be that to the YouTube community. If there's a piece of talent that has a show, they're going to come to Young Hollywood and they're going to talk about it. We're going to go behind the scenes with our series Quiet on the Set and we're going to do set visits of YouTube shows before they're actually airing showing you what the YouTube community is doing. As I said, the talent will come on, power players, maybe it's a big producer, you know, Anthony Zucker who created CSI. Mm -hmm. He'll come on our Power Player show and talk about Black Box Television, the you know the channel that he's building, or you know you'll get Ashton to come on and talk about what Catalyst is doing with Thrash Lab, and I think it's it's going to be cool because we're you know really going to be that center of all this that that everybody's going to be coming on here and, and talking about what they're doing, and we'll in turn promote it and they'll in turn promote us back. Hmm. Very good. Well, you mentioned some of the the metrics involved, such as engagement, um, but what will both YHN and YouTube be looking at in order to determine success? You know, I don't think it's any one thing. I think it's multiple things that determine success. Um, you know, obviously viewers, you want people to watch. Subscribers is an important thing. You want people to keep coming back to it. Engagement time is huge because you don't want them watching 30 seconds and turning away. You want them to come back. Uh, you want the, aver the appetite to be there for the advertising community. Um, where we've been fortunate, if, if you go to our channel now, we did a deal with Unilever and you'll see Tresemme is on our site. So, you know, it's exciting that we're having the ads flow in and it's going to be really robust integrations that we're doing with them. It's not just traditional banner inventory and traditional pre-roll. We have some big things planned with them around some key tentpole events. And I think that's an important metric of success that the advertisers are embracing it and they want to be a part of it. Um, I think the community is going to be another aspect as, you know, going back to the cross promotion of the marketing we just talked about, that's going to be really important of of how we're going to feed off of one another and how we're going to drive metrics of other channels. So not necessarily just our own, but if there's somebody we have a cross-promotion vertical with and their videos are getting a lot of views, that's because Young Hollywood you know, helped bring that to the table. So I think it's really going to be a combination of all those things. And I think as you know, we go on with this experiment, we're going to find new things. You know, There might be a metric we might not even expect and we're going to be, wow, look what, what just happened with that. You know, maybe it's a demo. Maybe you want the 18 to 35 year old audience, or maybe you want to skew more female, and and that's what Young Hollywood does. We're getting that audience. So I think YouTube is going to look at it as a whole and and just see where does each channel you know fit into that community. All right, sounds exciting. RJ, thank you so much for talking with us. We wish you the very best. Thank you. Enjoyed speaking with you as well. And watch the channel youtube.com forward slash YHN. As I said, a new episode every day, 10 o'clock Pacific. 1 o'clock Eastern, and there's some really, really fun stuff, so I encourage all your viewers to definitely check it out. All right, perfect. Reporting for Web Pro News, I'm Abby Johnson.